What's going on guys, Brandon here. We have our last, our final, the uh, the fifth video in our Insider's Report series and it was going through this structure over the last five months of, of 2018. And uh, we, again, just to recap what we had done, price versus value, everything bubble, death of the dollar standard, crypto, and gold and silver. If, if you missed any of those videos, go back and check those out. They are on our Facebook timeline. They are in our YouTube channel. They are going through just kind of what is going on in the economy, the overall economy. Our insiders reports, like I said, are the macro look at what's going on. Uh, I've been studying this stuff for 10 years and it's, it's helped me get to where I am today and I'm very fortunate because of that. And it's just really a quest. Um, I'm listening to a lot of Alex Sharfin lately and um, and our team is and talking about the entrepreneurial personality type and the the the, per, the personality type that I am is the hunter and it's constantly seeking answers seeking 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 looking for answers looking for answers always trying to pushing the envelope pushing the boundary and it's why I do things like this it's why I seek this value and try to give it to any of you that I can because uh, I just I feel that it's truly important uh, to all of our well-being and it's something that I after the last crash in 08 remember being a senior at Michigan State and just watching the market do this and this and this and this and just wondering what is going on I, I need answers there's got to be answers I need to find them and uh, it just led me on this journey of, of studying currency and monetary history and monetary policy and wealth creation wealth destruction wealth transfer transfer everything you know, so what does that look like? How does that, how does that look for each person individually? How does it look for countries? How does it look for a real estate market? So that's what's led me into all of this. And again, like I said, if you missed any of these, here's some pretty incredible videos just regarding the price versus value and what it means. Really, what it means to what the difference between uh, you know something of value and the price that is associated with that. So what are you truly getting? Out of that, out of that asset, um, and, and again, this is because like people always get it twisted. They always think you know when the when the market crashes and gold and silver go through the roof, it's gonna be, it's gonna be this price, and it's, I'm gonna have that much money or that much currency. Which it's not really true. What you want is value. You know, you want what is it valued? You know, what is the actual value of that thing? And how you determine value is by comparing that asset to other assets. That's how you determine the actual value. And then you end up getting your price. Uh, the everything bubble. You know, we talked about just everything that's going on in the world. We have, you know, student loan debt, uh, national debt, you know, total debt in the whole world, credit card debt. I mean, there are just some astronomical numbers that we're dealing with. Again, China, the Chinese just there was a report that the Chinese just printed like fifty trillion dollars. It's just incredible, right? So there's, there's some really never before seen things that are going on in this world that uh, we just. We don't know how they're going to turn out, to be quite honest. So how do we prepare for those things the best we can? Uh, like I said, going through the everything bubble, there's a lot of things. The bond market, uh, the real estate market, obviously, just the equities market or the stock market, if you will. Uh, those markets, you know, a lot of people think their bond market is going to be the one that crashes and kind of sets a lot of these dominoes off. So uh, that's an unbelievable video. The death of the dollar standard. And when that, so when that does happen, when, you know, things do end up, uh, going down and again, this is very, uh, very interesting time we're going through the last handful of months. I mean, we've all seen the stock market turmoil, right? And the market turmoil, the stock market turmoil. So it's a very, uh, and this is why I did this series. This is why I, I took this from Mike Maloney, who's one of the the best guys I've ever seen with currency history and monetary history, and I've studied him religiously over the last you know eight nine years. And this was the five part segment he did, and I'm kind of giving just the bullet points and all these videos of what he had spoken about and to manageable little chunks. So you don't have to go listen to the 30 to 60 minutes of each of these uh, series, of each of these videos. So, uh, the Death of the Dollar Standard, like, and actually I paid to, to watch this one actually. A lot of his information is free, but this one was actually paid. So you, you can't even get this information without paying for it. So that's why this is important. Uh, another reason why. Death of the Dollar Standard. So what happens when things actually do crash? What happens, you know, the monetary system changes every 30 to 50 years. You know, we're in year 40, 50 right now. So that monetary system usually changes. And we had the, you know, a couple different monetary systems in the 1900s. Uh, you know, we're going to have more in this century. And we just all grew up with a certain way of, of life happening. 
but that's not the way life usually goes. It usually switches and turns over and, and transfers to other things. So what does the death of the dollar look like and what does that mean for all of us and where is it going? Uh, crypto, again, crypto is a speculative play. It's I think it's got an unbelievable uh, life ahead of it and I think there is a, a serious place in our society and will as time goes forward. It's not right here yet. It's not uh, obviously expansive and worldwide yet but and it, it has isn't in every walk of our life yet but I really truly believe that it will be just with the technology and the way things are going I just I saw in Los Angeles they have been testing I didn't even know this I don't know if this is that recent it must be fairly recent but they're testing if you've ever seen minority report with Tom Cruise uh, predictive crimes and trying to predict crimes before they happen with AI and technology and stuff like that this kind of stuff's coming you know it's already here in some instances and in some industries and real estate they're trying it out and, and title insurance things like that that stuff is coming whether we like it or not so how do you how do you how do you see that industry playing out you know what to look for how the blockchain operates hash graph what kind of system will we be using will it be blockchain will it be hash graph what will it be and like I said that's a speculative play that you know there are people making a lot of money on that right now and you have to be very savvy going into it but it's also it's something where you know, if you are jumping into it, be speculative or um, have a speculative mindset. So just, you know, gamble with gambling, you know, gamble with what you can, you know, and again, even if you, it's only a hundred bucks, you know, 50 bucks, hundred bucks, 200 bucks, it can still be life changing. Uh, if you put it into some things like Bitcoin and, and, and p the potential for that to grow could be astronomical. Uh, and then gold and silver this is the last one. Like I said, for today, I want to give you the quick review, but Gold and Silver, I want to go through a quick couple of quick things because, again, this is our last video wrapping up this series, this five-part series. Um, gold and Silver has always been true money for thousands and thousands of years. It's always been true money. And, you know, it's in the Bible. Uh, you know, it's it was used throughout all the ancient civilizations. And it's it, it still is and will be because it's true. It's only made when a star implodes, I believe. I can't remember now. Any of you astronomers can let me know. Uh, but it's natural, you know, gold and silver, it's, it's, that's when those elements are made and that's what makes them so rare, so valuable. And, and that's why, again, that's why they are true money. <clears throat> one, another one of the things that makes gold and silver valuable and why it really is a hedge, it's a hedge on your money. It's a hedge on, it's money insurance. It's currency, you know, insurance for your currency, for your, so your true wealth. And before in all, in, in the past, you could not invest all not every country can invest now every country in the world basically can just hop anyone can hop on their phone and go buy some gold and silver they couldn't do that before it was really only a handful of countries like britain and america so it was limited to just us that could do it now dang near anyone can do it so that same amount of gold and silver is having to be spread out through many many more people they say about 10 times the currency and about 10 times the people chasing the same amount of gold and silver so again you can see and these this always revalues. Gold has to account for the currency that has been printed. We have printed trillions of dollars. Before the 08 crash, I think we had like around $1 trillion. We now have four or five trillion dollars that have been printed since then. Gold and silver have always accounted for that. So again, just a very simple, basic math, you know, history repeating itself uh, concept. Gold and silver have always accounted for that discrepancy. That, that difference in currency printed. So just to get to those levels of currency, gold and silver, gold has to rise to at least 14, 15, 18,000 just to account for some of the money that we have printed. You know, and that doesn't even account you know, some of the revolving credit and the things that are all there as well. So you know, we're talking about big, big jumps in, in gold and silver prices eventually when things are actually accounted for and when the chickens come home to roost. So, um, Gold, like I said, gold, like it has to account. Um, right now, it's low. Price is being suppressed. Gold and silver are on sale. It's really the, the lowest cost asset that there is right now in the marketplace uh, from any of the asset classes. So whether it's you know businesses, commodities, real estate, or paper, it's the and you could include crypto now as a fifth asset class, but. It's the cheapest commodity. It's the most undervalued asset class there is right now. So again, it's like being on sale. It's like seeing T-bone steaks on sale for a dollar each at the super at the supermarket. Most people run to the store to go grab that sale. Well, this is the same type of thing. Gold, silver are just on sale right now. Same thing like a stock market crash. Those companies, those organizations are just on sale. 
Again, like I said, we have always have shifts in the monetary policy, and he who has the gold makes the rules. We've all heard that quote. Monetary policy shifts, these things shift, like I said, death of the dollar standard, things like that will happen uh, eventually, and he who has the gold and the silver make the rules. Those are the people that profit. Money is never destroyed, as Mike always says. Mike Maloney always talks about money is not destroyed. It is merely transferred to the people who have the real assets. So again, it could be real estate, gold and silver, what have you. <sighs> um, crypto, and it's just a very basic, natural uh, points. Crypto in, in the tech world wouldn't exist without silver. Um, you know, gold is you generally use in, in jewelry and money, but silver is used in many, many things. That's it's it's really more valuable. It's used in all of our technology and in, in glass and in crypto and computers. And then there, a lot of it is just sitting in landfills right now. People have thrown away their electronics or whatever it may be. So it's, it really is a, pr a precious, precious commodity. And like I said, in the end, it's a, it's a hedge against chaos. And it's, it's a money insurance policy. It's just like getting insurance on your home if it were to burn down or car insurance. It is a hedge against craziness. So I wanted to, like I said, wrap on that. There's a reason that was the last thing because it really is the most proven out of everything. It is the only thing that has stood the test of time. So I, I hope you guys got something out of this series. Like I said, if you haven't seen the other four parts, go check those out. We did those over the course of the last five months of, of 2018 and we're just wrapping up now here in January. Uh, and I, I really appreciate the feedback that we've got from this and the videos that we've done. This one is probably the most more intense videos I've ever done. And just the, the writing out that and explaining how the treasury works and the Fed and stuff like that, which is a, a crazy video as well. So check that one out if you haven't seen it. But price versus value, really kind of mind boggling to see how wealth can be built over time, uh, switching from currency to gold, et cetera, you know, housing. Um, so please go check those out. I really appreciate all the comments that you guys have given us. Um, again, if you guys can, please comment in the comment section here because we want to keep the, the conversation on here and include as many people as we can. We have so many conversations with people just off the air, you know, through text, email, what have you, and I really appreciate that, but I, I really do want to try to keep it to uh, the, the, the comment sections. That way we can include as many people as possible because the only way that we're all going to benefit is by doing these things together. So I appreciate you guys more than anything. I hope you got something out of this series. Like I said, this has truly impacted my life for the better you know, times a million. So I hope it rubs off on some of you and you can obtain some of that passion for this, which I know is not some super sexy subject necessarily, but it's it's preserving your wealth and building your wealth, So which I hope interests some of you and, and really it touches all of us. So I appreciate all of you. And again, the reason we do this, being a real estate team and a real estate organization is because your a house is one of the, if not the most biggest, the, the one of the biggest, the purchases, investments you're going to make in your life and for most people. So taking care of that asset and having a roof over your head is super important and that's why we're here. And we don't want to be a real estate team that is just out there just to you know do a transaction and get it done with. We want to provide actual value for people, whether it's through the listing presentation and, and listing someone's house and doing digital marketing with this home and communicating with the seller like no one else will or whether it's providing education for people like no one else will. That's why we're here and that's why we do what we do. So I appreciate you more than anything. I appreciate you guys tuning in and all your feedback more than you'll know. And uh, again, I appreciate your time and energy because it is the most important thing that we all have. So I appreciate you guys and we look forward to seeing you soon.